hey, hey, peace, I'm a real true ocker. You won't come as a shocker. You know there's nothing I will not do. Got a camera and a mic, and I know I've got the right. So I'm coming for you. I'm Pete the Surfer. I can spend a minute with you. And I'll tell you a story like no one else can do. So if you want to chat with Put your face on the TV Hang with me on Peter Surferu Hey guys, welcome back to Peter Surferu It is going off behind me, check it out We've got the shed Now this is uh, a project by the gallery here at the Art Centre on the Gold Coast It is going off, we've got two major names up here Painting this big, massive painting on both sides We're going to go in and meet the guys, check it out Get their secrets, street art all the way Next up, uh, up to the professional level for these guys. Let's check it out. Let's go meet these guys now. Yeah. Woo. If you're into art, design, or whatever, this is a great one. Now we're talking to Mr. Mike Macatron. Sounds pretty funky, mate. How are you? Good. Good to be here. Now, mate, um, this is a big one. You're the winners of the Gold Coast City Gallery shed load of the street art project, mate. That's a big one. Big mouthful. Now, whereabouts are you from? I live in Melbourne. Melbourne, mate. Uh, land of cold, rain and different temperatures all the time and weathers <laughs> and whatever. How are you feeling here on the Gold Coast in this heat doing this massive big project? Yeah, we've just been going through a heat wave as well in Melbourne, but the day I left was uh, miserable and raining, so it's great to be here. We're right next to a lake as well, so we've been swimming a few times every day. Now, mate, uh, tell the viewers a bit about your background, just in brief, just ra wrap it up. You've travelled the world doing this. I mean, it's taking you big places and of course one of your greatest creations 300 square meters big big project yeah that one was huge um, I've been lucky enough to travel to a lot of countries and it's a um, quite an intimate way to view a city or get into a city and uh, you meet a lot of great people now the, the big painting what was that actually of that 300 square meter, yeah. meter one that was uh, in Melbourne underneath a freeway <laughs> wow that's pretty funky mate yeah, it's funny because not too many people see it actually but <laughs> It was fun. Now, um, street art, you know, like being on trains and tram, you know, all that sort of stuff now, it's getting up there more more artistic now and it's getting into the galleries, which is really good to see. Yeah, it's been, a f I mean, I was just saying before, it's been a somewhat commercial thing for at least 10 years. So uh, there's a few people that have been groundbreaking and it's um, been a full-time career for me for about that long. Mate, sounds good. Now, this big project you're working on here on the shed, it's taken us uh, three days. We're just about on the last day here. We've got a bit of a time lapse too, so we're going to show the viewers out there how it actually started and the finish point. Mate, it's looking great here. Uh, how are you handling the heat and, and what time do you reckon you'll finish today? Uh, I don't know, because me and Austin will we'll probably paint till 6, 7 o'clock tonight, I reckon. And I think hopefully we'll finish by then. Sounds good, mate. And any more big projects coming up in the future? Uh, I got a lot of maybes. I might be in Miami, I might be in Hong Kong, and I'll probably be in Oregon later in the year. Well, that's a way to go. Now, just uh, have you got anything to tell all those artistic street painters out there how to get into the good side of things <laughs> and maybe get themselves a name like you too, buddy? Uh, I think in general the best advice I could give is to have fun. Sounds good, mate. That's a good one. Guys, I'll let him get back into it. Check out this artwork. It is magnificent. Pete the Surferu. Check you later. Woo! back guys uh, we've got the second half of the uh, shed here it is going off it's uh, nearly in completion it's the last day here and we've got mr. Elliot Rutledge here how are you mate good how are you good mate now where do you hail from uh, I come from Sydney from Sydney Melbourne all the way we've got the pros coming up street art is the in thing at the moment mate now how long have you been doing this for uh, for a while probably 15 years or something like that 
Now, how did you first start off? Were you just doing it as a hobby? And uh, I just always did it as a hobby and then turned into a career. And now we call this big project Signs of the Time, mate. Going up there, looking great. Yeah, yeah. Now, some of your projects, mate, where has it taken you around the world? Uh, everywhere, all around Australia, different countries, around Asia, America, yeah, all over the place. So for upcoming artists out there in street art or whatever, get into it, guys, and it can take you around the world. Have fun while you're doing it and uh, also explore the world and see new ventures and new ideas. Yeah, definitely. Travel is the key. Well, hey, hey, Pete, I'm a real true ocker. You won't come as a shocker. You know there's nothing I will not do. Got a camera and a mic. And I know I've got the right, so I'm coming for you. I'm Pete the Surfer, I can spend a minute with you, and I'll tell you a story like no one else can do. So if you want to chat with me, I'll put your face on the TV. Hang with me, I'm Pete the Surfer. I love my cozy, and I love my hat. Where it's happening. Come to you with interviews. I'm with Pete Severin.